Hi, it's Mike from Health Newswires with some important information for you about probiotics and their effect on the common cold. Stay tuned at the end of this video. I'm going to show you a free download that's available for you to make sure that you are getting enough probiotics and uh, understanding the full health effect of using probiotics. So with cold and flu season right around the corner, uh, there's new research revealing a 27% reduction in risk factors that are most often associated with the common cold. Specifically, um, a study of 500 adults supplementing with different amounts of probiotics, some with 2 billion, some with 5 billion, and, and some with a placebo uh, containing zero uh, CFUs of probiotics, uh, demonstrated clear support for probiotics as a significant factor in reducing the effects of the common cold. These findings uh, demonstrate important new uses for probi probiotics, uh, especially in supporting a strong and healthy immune system. So the body contains billions of different types of bacteria, uh, trillions actually, and the probiotics are defined as live bacteria that provide a health benefit when they're present in appropriate amounts. So current recommendations are to make sure that 85% of your bacteria is um, good bacteria or probiotics. And in addition to a 27% reduction in the risk of upper respiratory tract infections, most commonly associated with the common cold, using probiotics has also been associated with a shorter duration time spent fighting off the common cold, uh, lessened symptoms of the common cold, and significantly fewer missed days of school and work due to illness. While uh, doctors aren't really exactly sure how the probiotics are defending against the common cold, uh, some of their research theorizes that probiotics may not defend directly against the common cold uh, attacking the virus. Rather, uh, it le they lessen the, the inflammation, like the sore throat and the stuffy nose, that are associated with, with the virus. And that allows your body and your immune system to focus more of its efforts on eradicating the cold virus. Uh, the common cold is estimated to affect roughly... 500 million people each year in the United States, and that costs an estimated $40 billion in medical costs. So certainly supplementing with a high-quality supplement um, that's been clinically proven reduces the severity and duration of the common cold uh, by up to 27%. So with cold and flu season quickly approaching, uh, it's highly recommended that you supplement with a high-quality probiotic uh, each day. And speaking of high-quality probiotics, like I said earlier, there's a free download. You can click on the screen and take advantage of it. It's called the Top 10 Gut Cleansing Foods. And this download ensures that you understand uh, foods that... Make sure there's healthy amounts of bacteria in your in your digestive system. Uh, ensures that you're reaching that 85% of uh, bacteria being probiotics, and it also ensures your digestive and immune system are functioning uh, at maximum capacity. So click on the link, um, take advantage of of the information, and supplement with a high quality probiotic. Thanks for listening. This is Mike from Health Newswires.